us to another episode in a series of episodes in which we continue looking at the August 2024 Mathematics paper team. If you haven't seen the other episodes, please check out on our YouTube channel or download the companion app that you are seeing on the right hand side of your screen. In this app, you are going to find a lot of materials that are going to be helpful to you. You are going to find quizzes based on the topical exam pass papers. You are going to find over 10,000 questions with few solutions, instant solution and detailed explanation. We look at question 17. The functions f and g are defined by f of x equals 3x minus 4 and g of x is equal to x plus 1 divided by 3. Find the inverse of f of x b g of f of x c g f of negative 3. The question always comes on this topic so just a matter of you knowing how to answer this kind of questions. Sometimes we are given that two functions are equal then you solve for x. So among these functions you can get a kind of uh, an equation to solve but in this case it doesn't come. So let us start with question a. So to find the inverse of f of x you let let y is equal to f of x. So whenever there is f of x you put y in this function so it will be now y is equal to 3x minus 4. Then at this point you make x the subject of the formula. Once you make x the subject of the formula then you are almost done. Then let us see do that. So we are going to have now y plus 4. So the moment this one crosses the equal sign it becomes a positive equals 3x. Then we divide by 3, we divide by 3 to remain with x this side, this side. So what I get now is in x is equal to y plus 4 divide by 3. Then at this point, wherever there is in x, we substitute it, let x now equal to f of the f to the power negative 1 of x, which we are calling the inverse. Okay, you do that, then whatever there is y, we substitute x. So meaning the function becomes now f is equal to x, whatever there is y, you put x plus 4 over 3. So this is the inverse of this original function. So this is how you answer question m. So we go to question m to answer question a. We just now light this one properly so it becomes f is equal to x plus 4 over 3. That's what we do. So once we do this then we would have answered question a. So after answering question A, we can answer question B. So to answer question B, let me use this space so I think. So this will be B. So what this tells me is G F of X tells me that I'll go and look for G function. So what's the G function? So in the g function, wherever there is x, I'm going to put f of x. So it will be f of x plus 1 over 3. So what is f of x? Is this one. This is f of x. So this one becomes now 3x. Let me use a different color so that you are able to see clearly. So it will be 3x minus 4. Then plus 1 over 3. So the lead is replacing f of x, which is replacing the x value here. Take note. Then at this point, it's just a matter of simplifying. So we're going to get 
negative 4 plus 1 is same negative 3 so we're going to have 3x minus 3 over 3 we divide that one this one ends up giving me x minus 1 so this is g f of x so take note of one so this is our final answer which is x minus 1 then once you do that you get that 2 max then we go to c now in this function that we found this function in b whenever there is x we are going to put negative 3 that's as simple as that i can even this small space which is here because this one is a straightforward so c we have this function well let me just go to the new page so c we have g f of x is equal to x minus 1 we should find then to find g f of negative 3 it will be negative 3 minus 1 so whenever there is x we are replacing it with negative 3 so now what this one tells me is I'm going to have negative 4 so negative 4 is the answer so you write in your exam paper properly like that in the answer provided once you do that you're good to go you get these four good marks so thank you for joining me in this episode please join me in the next episode as we look at question 18 and if you haven't downloaded our app please download it to make your life easier